Hey there, it's David. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can make empowering decisions in your life. And it's a slightly different approach that you may not have heard before, but uh, give me a few minutes and I'll tell you about it. So let's say you have a decision to make in your life and it's a big decision and you've been thinking about it for a few days, maybe a few weeks and you're not really any clearer in your mind as to whether or not you're making the right decision. You're not sure what to do. You're weighing up the pros and cons. You're trying to figure out should it be option A or should it be option B. You're in your mind, you're in your head, you're intellectualizing this decision realize in that moment when we're doing this that you're actually distracted okay you're distracted you're distracted from what you should be focused on when we allow ourselves to get caught in this trap of over analyzing things and trying to figure out what's the best option what is the right option realize that you're distracted and you were distracted from making the real choice What's the real choice all about? If you go underneath the level of the practical worldly problems, there is always another deeper choice. And that choice is between love and fear. So you could also think about it this way. The choice to torture yourself over analyzing this decision is a choice. Okay. The choice to be in a state of indecision. You know, that's a choice. Allowing ourselves to go through that is a choice. So we can decide against that. But on the most deep level, what we're, what we're deciding on is between two voices in our mind. One of them is fear-based and one of them is an inspiring voice, a compassionate voice. You could call that the voice for love. And no matter what you choose after that, all you have to do is make the right choice on that profound, more metaphysical level. I am going to choose with love. Or an even better way to think about it is, I am not going to make this decision based on fear. I'm not going to do that. Because, you know, we don't really know what, you know, the loving voice is. We're not as familiar with that, unfortunately, as we are with the fear-based one. So we can choose against the fear-based voice much easier than we can actively choose the loving inspiring voice so realize i'm in my fear-based mind i'm afraid here and say i'm not going to make my decision out of fear i'm going to start listening to a part of my mind i'll get quiet i'll get still and what would i say to myself if i wasn't so afraid and you start to realize i'm going to make this decision as my true self I'm going to see myself as not vulnerable, but invulnerable. Not passive, but active, proactive in my life. When you're in that empowering mindset, you begin to realize something very interesting. And what you realize is, option A and option B on the practical level, I can live with both of those options. Neither of those options hold any downside for me I can thrive no matter what I choose that's what I meant by you're distracting yourself if you're focusing on the practical level the practical level of choice we need to go deeper into the metaphysical level of choice that's where we need to actually choose one voice over the other the alternative is if you know and the, the truth is 99% of the time we choose the fear-based voice because you know, we're, for one thing, we're biologically programmed to choose that voice. You know, we're always looking out for danger. Um, we're not looking for the inspired thing, okay? But if you do choose from the fear-based voice, what will happen is, it doesn't matter what you choose after that anyway, option A or option B, they'll still seem fearful to us. So our job is to go beyond the level of form, beyond the practical level of things, and start to choose more lovingly okay less fearfully once we do that we realize all the anxiety about the decision goes away 
and we're in a much stronger, stronger place then to, um, to make the inspired choice, whatever that might be. So that was actually me answering a question there. Someone sent me a question and it was, they were talking about, you know, they're having these problems of indecision their whole life and they don't feel like they've ever actually made the right decision in their life. And, you know, that could be true for a lot of us. A lot of us do choose the fear-based voice most of the time. Most of our lives are dictated through fear. So this person wanted to know, why does it happen? And how can I be more decisive in my life? Choose at the right level. Choose the voice for love, not the voice for fear. And then all decisions after that come easily to us. Okay, so I hope that helps. Guys, if you would like to contact me for one-to-one -one sessions, the link is below. And uh, as always, I really appreciate if you like this and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you have a question, you can contact me as well. Just send me an email and uh, I'd be happy to see if I can hopefully answer your question. Um, have a great day. Remember, choose for the voice of love and all else will fall into place. Okay, take care. Bye.